Pope Francis says the following. On that day, today, the holy door will become a door of mercy through which anyone who enters will experience the love of God who consoles, pardons, and instills hope. Doors are very symbolic. They can represent a passage from sin to redemption, from life to death, death to eternal life, disbelief to faith. Jesus even describes himself as the door people have to enter through to get to the Father. The door is the path to salvation. So by throwing open the holy door, Pope Francis is emphasizing his desire to throw open the doors of faith to the world. Please join us in your programs for the opening hymn, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Jesus Christ and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. With your spirit. At this time we have a sung response to bless and praise God. Your mercy endures forever. Your mercy endures forever. Forgive our faults and heal my infirmities. Your mercy endures forever. Glory to you, Lord, merciful and kind, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. Pray. 
Blessed are you, Lord, Holy Father, who sent your Son into the world to gather all men and women, wounded and scattered by sin, into one body through the shedding of his blood. You appointed him both shepherd and gate for the sheep, so that whoever enters may be saved and whoever comes in and goes out will find pasture for eternal life. Grant that your faithful may pass through this gate and be welcomed into your presence so that they may experience, O oh Father, your abundant mercy through Christ our Lord. My dear sisters and brothers, this year of mercy initiated by Pope Francis for the church all over the world invites each one of us to a profound experience of grace and peace. The sprinkling with the holy water that we're so familiar with, it's always a reminder of our baptism. Whenever you bless yourself upon entering or leaving a church with holy water, it should remind us of our baptism. It should remind us of who we are and whose we are. The sprinkling of the holy water recalls the mercy and salvation we have received through the power of Christ's resurrection. 